So why do I think this is not a fun lunch meeting amongst old friends in the neighborhood? Jagged at me. <laughs> well, if I was looking for you, I guess I know where to find you. It's always good to see you, Isabella. You need to get out of this illegal business, Jack. If you don't, you're forcing my hand. I hate to have to turn you in. Listen, Isabella, you don't understand. I'm in this pretty deep for a lot of years. You can't imagine the stuff that I have to go through. I do understand. I understand more than you think, Jack. It's clear you're in deep. I know about your family. I know about your losses. Why do you think I've been covering your ass? I know about your wife and daughter leaving you. Okay. I admit that. You got a point. So you know about my family. You know about some of the damage I've done. Okay. Isabella, I think you're forgetting about all the good I've done in this community. I think you're forgetting that. That community center right up the street on Fordham and Webster. You know it. You know it really well. War veterans coming home with no place to go. They sacrifice their lives, their families. For what? For government? For local law enforcement to turn their backs on them? They're from our neighborhood. They had no place to go. Who gave them a home? Who gave them hope to go on? During the pandemic, right? You remember the pandemic. You remember the thugs, punk gangs running wild in the streets? Looting, rioting, storefronts being burned down? Isabella, who was the one that scared them away? You know, you might not like to hear this, Isabella, but sometimes I'm your best friend on these streets. Sometimes it's me that keeps this neighborhood in check. Uh, I know. I get it. As far as what you've done for our neighborhood and our community, I do applaud you for that. Most people wouldn't do what you've done for others, but out of all the awesome things you've done, you take a huge step backward. Because at the end of the day, you're in the business of breaking the law, and people see that. You know, Isabella, I remember you when you were a kid in this neighborhood. But you know what? You grew up to be a great woman. It's impressive. Great job, super accomplishments, and everything's good. But somewhere along the way, you forgot about where you came from. You forgot about some of the important people that always had your back over these years. Listen, Jack, I've looked out for you for as long as I can. I won't let you jeopardize my position in the force. Now, quitting, while you're ahead, isn't the same as quitting. Get out the game, Jack. It's not that simple. It, just it is can't. that simple. What don't you get? We both know that consequences are inevitable. <laughs> this, this, this isn't a threat. I'm telling you now, I will turn you in. You know, Isabella? I'm not getting out of the game right now. Maybe not ever. Hmm. You're ready to go up against me? You're ready to go the distance with me? We're just going to have to see about that now, aren't we? You just go ahead, roll the dice. Always a pleasure, Isabel.